The day began like many winter days in Minnesota. It was cold, which was not unusual. It was windy, and that also was not unusual. A little snow began to fall. So the school day in rural school, District 46, began as usual. Mrs. Leslie Enter, the teacher, went to work briskly and efficiently, unaware that waiting in the clouds above was one of those blizzards that in a generation from now, people would still be remembering. It's Miss Quist. Well, she's probably brought the Knutson children with her. I'll be right there. Jimmy, will you please turn up the heat? We're gonna have school. We're going to have school. Turn it up to 70. Good morning, Mrs. Quist. Good morning, Good morning Mrs. Mrs. Enter. Good morning, children. Are we the only ones? No, no, Jimmy's inside, and I'm sure there'll be others as soon as this lets up. Children, why don't you go on in? I'll be right along. Good about it. Why are you coming to school? I thought you knew everything. Does Mrs. Zinner know you're playing her radio? No, Mrs. Zinner doesn't know I'm playing her radio. You better not let her catch you. You better not let me catch you if you tell her. I'll get it, Shorty. Hello? Then I'll plan to pick them up at the regular time. And if there's any change, you can reach me at this number in Nicolette. I'll do that, Mrs. Quist. All right, Jimmy. You want it on the phone? Have a nice luncheon. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Jimmy, turn off that radio. Me? Turn it off and leave it off. Hello. Oh, hello, Ella. How are you this morning? Yes, we just got here. Oh, just a minute, Ella. This isn't recess time. You must do some work. And you too, Jimmy. Yes, Miss Anna. Excuse me, Ella. Well, there are only five of us so far. Why, what's the matter? Well, a lot of parents have been calling this morning to find out if there was to be school. They couldn't reach you, and I guess the storm had them worried. Well, we just got here, and everyone's all right. J just a minute. Is it bad where you are? Oh, well, B, that's one of the reasons I called you. Our number three line went out just a little while ago. And we can't be sure how long the others will stay open. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure we'll be all right. Thanks. Yes, I'd appreciate that. Goodbye, Ella. A storm was coming up. But the schoolroom was pleasantly warm by now and there was the usual work to be done. Make a routine check of the furnace. One of the talents of a rural school teacher lies in playing the janitor to the school furnace. Then into a pair of comfortable shoes and off to the classroom again. For the rest of the morning, Mrs. Enter directed the minds of her pupils away from the blizzard raging about them. And as usual, her methods worked more successfully with some than with others. By the time lunch was over, however, she could no longer ignore the fact that the storm outside was rising beyond the usual snows of a Minnesota winter, and her thoughts went to making provisions for what might be a long day's siege. Now, I suppose you would like a recess. Can we go out and play in the snow? Oh, I'm afraid it's a little windy for that. We'll have our exercise right here. Oh, grand. Come on over to the side aisle. We'll do toe touches. I'll count. Now, everybody together. One. Keep your legs stiff. Two. No bending of the knees. Three. Four. Five. Six. Maybe the power lines are down.
Hello? 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 Is anybody there? Yes, it has. Somebody's knocking at the door. That's just the wind, sweetheart. Only the wind. It was late afternoon before the citizens of Nicolette, realizing the plight of the little group stranded in rural school district 46, could marshal the forces necessary to do something about it. There's your road, Lieutenant. Nine miles of dirt. What about the bridge? We hope it'll hold. I don't know. That plow's heavy. If you pass there, we're all right. It's going to be all right, Mrs. Quist. The snow plow's here from Mankato. They'll have them out in no time. I didn't know anything was wrong. I left a number where she could reach me. How long do you think it'll take to get to the school? That's what we're trying to figure. I'm on the air in exactly two minutes. Maybe they've got a radio. Plow's all warmed up and ready to go, Chief. Right away. Well, look, can you make a guess? Wouldn't be any good. It's nine miles out there. If the snow was to stop and all we had to do was break a path, I'd say, oh, maybe a mile an hour. It stays like this, no telling. Now, we'll put these plants in the furnace room. Jimmy, will you get me a candle and some paper? There. Right. You three, bring me some books. 